Hello there guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining ours ever. It is deadline day. Deadline day where players are flying about, they're going all over, rumours are going all over. The last day of the window. Uh, Alex Mowat remains a red even though he has disappeared from the calendar. It is February of course, the 1st of February as well. January is flown. Um, well, saying that, it dragged a little bit. And the Reds have finally done a deal. We have signed a player, a striker. We have signed a striker. Um, now, this lad from the USA, Daryl, uh, from what I've told as well, it is pronounced DK. Um, I was going to, obviously, if I'd have not been told that, I would have said Dyke, because obviously that's how it's spelled, but I've been told it is DK. Whether so, whether that is how it's pronounced, or not, I don't know. I'll go with that for now. Daryl DK from Orlando, um, from Orlando City, uh, on loan for the rest of the season with an option to buy at the end of the season. Twenty years of age, um, six foot one, big, strong, um, looks the part, looks like the missing piece that we've needed up front. If you go watch his highlight, really scored some wonderful goals, shows great pace, great skill, uh, and his goal scoring record is actually quite decent um, as well. Uh, eight goals so far, from what I'm reading, for Orlando in 17 appearances. Um, very, very young. Uh, to be coming over from the US to uh, to join us, of course. My overall view on it is it's a player in, and as we always say, you know, let's not judge those players until they've had quite a number of games under the belt. The one thing that we have to look at as well is now we have seven strikers in the football club, seven strikers. Uh, reports what I am seeing as well, there is going to be no more business done at Oatwell today, which is a good thing for the outgoings for the key players, but in terms of the players that aren't getting a game, your Schmitz, your George Millers, you know, those players who would probably be better off leaving the club, they're not going to get a look in, uh, look like they are going to be here until at least the end um, of the season. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted because it got to a, like a certain point. I mean, I've been at work and I'd not topped my phone up. I topped my phone up when I did get out of work at like four or just after, and I thought to myself, God, there's going to be at least a few things I've missed here, absolutely nothing, and then when I got in, it finally came through that the, the pen were coming out and the signing were coming in, um, so I, I was a bit surprised at that, but there still is time, because I still do think we do need another midfielder, you know, Mowat gets injured, what happens there, um, I think it's all. I think also it is good with this lad, uh, Daryl. We'll call him by his first name, Daryl. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's good that we have got him on loan because if it doesn't work out for him, you know, we probably won't make that option to sign. If it does, of course, then with that we've also got that as well. So he's got to hit the ground running. It's a big ask for a twenty-year-old coming over from the US, and we do look at his goal-scoring record. It is very good. However, it's very different different playing in England I have to say this that the demands are so much different everything like that we know this you know as regulars or the fans who know the English game you know it's totally different you look at players that come over from other countries they find it harder to adapt they find it hard to adapt all this and that but he's only a kid and I wish him all the best. It'll be interesting to see where would how we fit the system, how he fits, whether you know the system is changed around, whether he plays up front with Woodrow or Woodrow moves over to the left or right. I don't know. But at the end of the day, we've been crying out for a striker. We've got a striker in, a big target man as well, uh, who looks strong, very physical what we've needed for this style of play that we are playing and I really do hope you know that we do see him start start against Derby I'd like to see him start he can't do any worse than you know Freezer had a Biagio last few weeks I don't think he's been at it so I would like to see him start Morris as well he's another one who we signed earlier on in the window who's not started a game yet he's been on the bench so these are players I want to see start and we've got time to gel him into the side now because we've got a week to prepare well just under a week um, you know Derby on Saturday you know no game in midweek so that's good it gives him a ch chance to get to know him get get you know, the training, get organised in training, tactics, all this and that. And I'm really lucky for, listen, we love January for players that when they come in, but when they come out, we don't love it. But end of the day, I think up to now, you know, no more business is happening. 
I would like to see another midfielder come in. I would even push. I know I said we've got quite a lot of strikers, but I would look for maybe somebody else as well. Maybe who knows the English game a little bit more. Uh, but I think that will probably be it in the striker department. And obviously, but I do I do like the fact it is loan because let's say let's say if it doesn't work out for him. You know, then then he's he, we, he's not our player then, because some players and and that's not writing him off. Some players, you know, they 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 don't always work coming over from different countries, all this and that. But I'm delighted that we have got the striker in. We can't judge him yet, of course. And we always say on here on deadline day or whenever players come in, we said it. I said it with Britain. Don't know too much about him. This lad, Daryl, when it came through, I was like, oh. And I'm sure you guys were as well. Come on. I'm sure you were. I'm sure you were. If somebody knew who we were before we signed him, then get yourself on here next to me. Um, that's why we can't be writing him off. I know he might not all, might not be, you know, the one that everyone wanted in terms of, you know, cha- experience in England, all this and that. But at the end of the day, you know, We've pulled a player, who, and some Orlando City fans, I've read somewhere a comment say he's one hell of a player, so let's take that on board. That's all we can work with at the minute, and obviously his highlights. You know, we can't we can't sit here, what's the point in signing players and then absolutely slating it? We've not even seen him. He could turn out to be, you know, one of his better players this season. He could go on and get a number of goals, put chances away that we are creating. We can't, we can't sit here, because if that's the case, then, you know, who'd want to come to us if we're going to prejudge them? Uh, but yeah, delight, de- always delighted. I, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. I can't give you no more on that. Um, and he did make his debut as well for the United States in a 7-0 win over Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, so that's all, that's good as well. That's good as well. So uh, delighted. Hopefully, you know, he does set off well, I think he has got to hit the ground running, not just for us, but for his confidence as well, um, and hopefully, you know, he, he, he adapts quick, but yeah, looking at it as well, 20-year-old young lad coming in from the US, you know, it's a big, big challenge for him, but I wish him all the best, and welcome to Barnsley, lad, and hopefully, you know, when we're doing the watch-alongs, everything like that, we cheer it, we, we're cheering goals and goals and goals from him, because his goal-scoring record is good where he came from, let's hope that continues in England. So uh, thank you to you guys for watching. Uh, drop a like, get your comments in on what you think of the signing or of Daryl DK or Daryl Dyke, however you want to pronounce it. And of course, uh, yes, we will see you very soon. We might be back in the next few hours. We might be back in the next 30 minutes. Who knows with the Barnes of Football Club? Because honestly, it wouldn't surprise me at all. But end of the day, you know, we asked for a striker. We got one. So let's uh, let's let's give him a go. See how he is, and let's not prejudge. Let's get. Uh, Let's get uh, down a business and hopefully, you know, he does kick off uh, and, it, and it works out for him till the end of the season. So thank you once again, guys. I will see you in the next one. You Reds.